Hey, hi guys, I'm Dr. Inky, and today we are going to one of the pharmacies near our Sha'alam place, which is called the EE Clinic. So, inside, kita akan tengok produk apa yang biasa ni, yang kita boleh jumpa dekat farmasi yang boleh bantu untuk muka dan untuk rambut anda. Come, follow me. Alright, so now we're going to go through row by row to see what you can actually find here. Now we're going to start off with supplements. Now, banyak farmasi memang akan jualkan supplement. So different supplements are for different things. Now, one of the main thing that we see here is actually a supplement called CoQ10. Now, CoQ10 lebih kepada untuk jantung is to help protect the heart, especially if you're taking statins. Ubat untuk kurangkan kolesterol, CoQ10 akan bantu. And if you have problem with your skin, you can actually take fish oil. A thousand milligrams of fish oil akan bantu repair your old scars. Now let's going to go through here. We're going to see what we can find. Ah, uh, ah. If you have problems with your joints, kan, masalah dengan sendi-sendi, one of the things you can you can find out is uh, boleh carikan glutata apa ni? Glucosamine dengan chondroitin Yang ni akan bantu repairkan cartilage anda Now I'm going to go move on to something more common Okay, now One of the most common products that we find is aloe vera gel Now aloe vera gel is good for a lot of different things It's good for sunburn It's good for uh, dry skin It's also good when you want to just uh, If you feel your, your, your body is very dry You can actually apply this over your body Now Currently, during the COVID-19 virus uh, outbreak, one of the things that we always recommend is to increase the amount of immune system in your body. Now, one of the ways is, of course, uh, regular exercise, enough sleep, and another way is to hype up your body with sufficient vitamin C. Now, it does not prevent the any viral infection 100%, but it reduces the chances of you getting any infection. Now. If you have dry, cracked lips, you can always try Vaseline first. Now, Vaseline is made of petroleum jelly to coat the top layer of the lip to prevent further water loss. Now, if you have tried this and it doesn't work, then you might want to go and see your nearest doctor. One of the most common medication that you see in all pharmacies and even certain um, uh, speed marts or certain mini marts is paracetamol. Now, paracetamol comes in many different uh, brands. One of the most popular brands, one of the original brands is Panadol. However, you also have things like Euphemol. Now, what you notice is sometimes the other nombor dekat belakang. Misalnya, Euphemol 650. Yang kadang-kadang, uh, Panadol 650. Apa tu? Dia adalah dos dia. Dos dia adalah 650 miligram. Kebanyakan kali, kebanyakan uh, paracetamol adalah 500 miligram. Misalnya, dekat sini, kita akan nampak dekat Panadol ni, dia adalah 500 miligram. Nah, untuk untuk dewasa, sekali makan, biasanya kita akan showkan makan 1000 miligram tiga kali sehari but all depends on your body weight and what is necessary for you so sebelum makan paracetamol kena nombor satu kena bincang dengan doktor atau ahli farmasi anda and nombor dua kena bacakan ingredient uh, dia punya direction dekat belakang so ada banyak pesakit-pesakit kita yang sedang tanya tentang uh, panau atau treatment untuk fungal acne. So kalau ada masalah panah, ada masalah fungal acne, memang perlukan ubat untuk panah atau ubat untuk fungus. Now one of the most common ubat untuk fungus yang kita boleh cari dekat farmasi adalah yang ni. So kita ada banyak jenis. Okay. Ini adalah untuk panau. Dia uh, the, uh, ingredient dia adalah cotrimazole. Dia adalah sejenis antifungal. Ada antifungal ni ada banyak jenis. Atau salah satu adalah spray ke mana kita boleh spray dekat muka, spray dekat, dekat badan, spray dekat kaki and kalau ada masalah um, kaki busuk atau ada masalah fungal acne dekat setengah tempat yang susah nak sapu biasanya ada satu lagi adalah fungal powder ini adalah sebok tempat yang biasanya kita boleh letak dekat kasut letak dekat uh, private parts kita no? Right, macam ni. This is another brand yang lagi besar. This is one of the most common brands that you find in the market. So, untuk rawakan fungal infection, you have to use antifungal. Now, kalau ada masalah kudis, one of the main things is 
ubat untuk kudis right all these are scabies uh, scabies medication Dan again ada banyak jenis scabies medication adalah untuk untuk budak kecil ada untuk dewasa juga right so satu adalah anti scabies ini adalah untuk anti kutu ada masalah uh, kalau ada masalah kutu ah kam oksi Alright, what we have here is an acne patch. Ni, yeah, acne patch ni adalah, adalah daripada oxy. Acne patch is when we have an acne and you want it to pop really quickly. So, ambil satu patch, letak dekat atas. Then usually, we will advise to keep it on for 6 to 12 hours. You can leave it overnight if you want. What it does, it, it softens the skin over the top. And then, once the pus is ready to, to come out, it absorbs all the excess pus. You can also apply makeup over the acne patch. So on for people who needs to go to work and cannot put makeup over the acne, they can put the acne patch first. Now one of the issues with acne patch is it does not contain any medication. So walaupun dia adalah jenama oxy, it doesn't contain benzoyl peroxide. Unlike the regular, the regular uh, benzoyl peroxide. Now what usually when it says five, it means that it's a five percent concentration of benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide, very good medication for acne. Kalau ada masalah jerawat, you spot over it and then usually the acne disappears within a day. Now, one of the issues with benzoyl peroxide, of course, is the redness that comes along with it. Biasanya lepas uh, jerawat tu hilang, akan ada kulitnya merah atau ada parutnya merah. So, do be careful when you're applying benzoyl peroxide. Example, another one is this. So, you can see the difference. One is Oxy-10 with a 10% concentration of benzoyl peroxide and this is an Oxy-5 we have 5% concentration of benzoyl peroxide. They are both safe to be used, but do be careful of the redness and the scarring after that. Okay, let's talk about the So I always speak about, about AHA and BHAs. So one of the examples of a cleanser that can help reduce the amount of acne you have is something with BHA or salicylic acid. Now, Oxy actually sells something similar that contains salicylic acid and it can bantu untuk exfoliate kan the dead skin cells and deep cleanse the deep pores helps reduce the acne, active acne as well. If you have combination skin, not too oily. Now, one of the things, uh, one of the co common brands that you can find in most pharmacy is this brand called Simple. It's as simple as just a cleanser and a light moisturizer. They both help to control the oil on your skin and helps reduce um, the skin dryness they have and as well as hydrate your skin. These are very cheap and they are, they are quite inexpensive, affordable for most people. Now, growing up in my teens, all right, we actually use this. This is at the Clean and Clear. This actually helps reduce combination skin, oil on a combination skin. So if your skin is not too oily, it's just mildly combination, just very, very mild oil, getting a little bit of uh, breakouts here and there, clean and clear actually works very well. All right, so you should go and look for this in your nearest pharmacy. Ah, come, talk about uh, rambut. Right, so a lot of people have asked us, if I have dandruff on my, on, my, on my face, what should I do? What kind of cleanser should I use if you have fungal acne? One of the things you can use is this, Selsum Blue Shampoo. Now, even though it's a shampoo, even though it's a shampoo, it can be used as a very mild face wash, especially if you have fungal acne or you have what we call panau on the skin. When you have dandruff, you can also use this as well. It helps get rid of dandruff very, very quick. So, Sulfur soaps. Sulfur soap help reduce the amount of oil, number one. Number two, helps reduce fungal issues. So what you can see is there's a whole range of sulfur soaps that you can guess. Our favorite is, of course, naturally, the BioShield sulfur soap. However, there are other sulfur soaps you can get in the market. This is Penoff and this is JF. They both, they all work equally as well. Bio oil. Bio oil helps with body scars. Now, they don't help with old body scars, they help with new body scars. Helps soften the scar so that new collagen can grow. A lot of times, we do advise uh, pregnant women to start using bio oil to prevent stretch marks. Now, it doesn't prevent all the stretch marks, but it prevents most of the stretch marks. So, you need to use bio oil not only on the body, but in, on the thighs as well. However, do be careful once the scars is old, um, bio oil doesn't work anymore. That's when you need to come and see us. Yeah. 
first aid kits? Should you keep it in your house? Should you always have a set? Answer is yes. Because inside first aid kits, usually there are antiseptic, there are cottons, there are gauzes, things that you can use in case of emergency. Also, if it's possible, keep one in your car. Because nowadays, we spend a lot of time in our cars and once you get into an accident, you need an emergency kit to help stop the bleeding, to help disinfect the wounds and also to help keep you safe. Do get yourself a first aid kit.